Welcome to How to Draw Celtic Patterns. I'm your host, Jason Bellchamber. Today, I'm going to show you the method of reconstructing the Triskels and how they alternate on the Amphreville helmet. What I want you to do is find a photo on Wikipedia um, or on my own website at bellchamber.net and um, look for Amphreville Triskel, okay? You will notice that if you look at the top two lines here, and if you drew a center horizon line, you'll notice that the Triskel's center points alternate up and down and up and down all the way around it. The way that they repeat is every three steps. This center point is eight radius away from here. And this one is three units away from here. It's a bit of a mind bender to try and decipher it. Um, so I'm just gonna draw out the steps for you to reconstruct it. And just remember to be patient with yourself and to have some fun, okay? So there may be some parts in the video where my hand gets in the way as I'm constructing the circles, but most of them you'll be able to do yourself. Um, put your ruler on and construct a straight line lightly. This is going to act as your horizon line. Get out your compass and measure the radius at about 15 millimeters. That's just over half an inch. Draw one circle on the horizon line. Okay? I want you to make another circle eight radiuses away. And the way to do that is to measure. That's one radius. This is two radius, so just mark that slightly. Three radius. Four radius. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. At this eight mark, which is eight radiuses away from this circle. Mark another, make another circle whose center point is on the horizon line. Great. Now, we're gonna make another circle where the arc, where the arc and the horizon line intersect. And I want you to make another circle, okay? does take some practice drawing with a compass. So be patient and go slow. Repeat this. The center point is on the horizon line. And we're going to draw an equally ra sized radius circle. Like so. Okay? Now, you're going to draw a vertical line goes through this point and this point. So I just rest my pencil here, bring the ruler to it, look and see where it intersects at the bottom, and draw a straight line, okay? If it's off on an angle, it's okay. If it's one degree. So you notice that this line to this line is eight radius, okay? Now, what I want you to do is ignore these marks for now, okay? We're gonna make new ones. So, I'm just gonna make sure that this is still 15 millimeters. Yep, I'm happy with it. We're gonna mark three, we're gonna make a circle that's three units away. So mark, score a line there. One, two, three. On that third one is where you're going to make another circle with a 1.5 millimeter radius. Okay. We're going to construct another circle with the center point on the horizon line and here. So 
Same with this one. Okay, we're going to make one that's three away. One, two, three. So at that point here, draw another circle with a radius of 1.5 centimeters or 15 millimeters. Draw one that bisects it. Great. Now, along this line, we want to have a circle which will reach the horizon line. The center isn't right here, it's just outside, okay? So I put this center of the compass there, I construct a circle. This one is going to be above. Great. So I'll repeat our guide here. Put your pencil right there and lightly score a vertical line. Okay? Now. We want the bottom of the outer circle here, so we're going to measure where the center should be, right there. Now, construct a circle above the horizon line. Okay? We're gonna make this one below because it repeats here. So, center point at the axis Mark where the radius center point is. Make the circle. Repeat here. Mark where the radius center point should be, which is one radius. And draw a circle. In the next segment, I'm going to show you how to construct the beginnings of the Triskels. Thanks. We're going to draw a line which goes through this point and this point very lightly. Okay, so put your pencil on one, move your ruler up, okay, and just draw a slight line right there. We've already got one that goes through here. So we want another one just to show where your radius is for the outer curve of the Triskel. So it's going to go through here and here, okay? Mark your pencil there. All right, great. Take your compass. And we're going to have an arc which means right here. So draw a circle here. And another one right here. And one where the outer curve meets this circle. Now with this one, we're going to draw another arc out here, and one out here, and one down here. Okay, so the line where the radius is going to be is going to go through this point and this point. So keep your pencil here, rest it there, and just mark a line right here, okay? Same with right here. You want a line to go through here and here. So put your pencil here. There. We've already got one down here. The outer circle is going to meet this one. 
the radius, the center point is going to start here. So mark your pencil mark right there. There you go. Now with this one, we know that the center point is going to be on that line and the outer point of the circle is going to be on the outer edge of this one. In my previous videos you saw I constructed these with a uh, coin so it was a little more freehand. This one I'm being a little more exacting. Great. Now we're going to draw another circle down here on the vertical axis. Right. Now we're going to repeat that here. Right. So we've got an axis here. We want another line that goes through here and here. So rest your pencil at this point so your straight edge comes down and goes through this point. Okay, we're going to mark another one that goes here. Rest your pencil here. Bring your ruler here. So there's a line right there. Okay. Again, let's check and make sure this is the right radius size, and it is. Okay. So the center point goes on the vertical axis here, and the outer arc it reaches right at the X and Y spot. So the outer arc of this circle and the center point's on this axis, but it just touches this circle here. Okay. Don't worry if you move it a little bit, you're always going to erase your pencil lines. So just use them slowly, okay? So the outer spot goes right here and there's that circle there right I'm gonna make these guys repeat it so there's one axis we've got one that goes through these two here but we want one coming out here so Put your point right there and bring your straight edge down so it's right there okay the center point is going to be on this axis and your outer point is going to touch the outer arc of this circle outer arc is going to touch this circle and the center point is going to be on this axis. Great. Now, the outer arc is going to meet right at the x and y axis and the center point is on the y axis. There. So if you've watched the previous video series of constructing these by themselves, you can start to see where we're going. So we're done with the compass for now, gals. We're gonna draw a line which goes through this point and this point very lightly, okay? So put your pencil on one, move your ruler up, okay? And just draw a slight line right there. We've already got one that goes through here, so we want another one just to show where your radius is for the outer curve of the Triskel. 
So it's going to go through here and here, okay? Mark your pencil there. All right, great. Take your compass. And we're going to have an arc, which meets right here. So draw a circle here. And another one right here. And one where the outer curve meets this circle. Now with this one, we're gonna draw another arc out here, and one out here, and one down here. Okay, so the line where the radius is going to be is going to go through this point and this point. So keep your pencil here, rest it there, and just mark a line right here, okay? Same with right here. You want a line to go through here and here. So put your pencil here. There, we've already got one down here. The outer circle is going to meet this one. The radius, the center point is gonna start here. So mark your pencil mark right there. There you go. Now with this one, you know that the center point is going to be on that line, and the outer point of the circle is going to be on the outer edge of this one. In my previous videos, you saw I constructed these with a uh, coin, so it was a little more freehand. This one I'm being a little more exacting. Great. Now we're going to draw another circle down here on the vertical axis. Right. Now we're going to repeat that here. All right. So we've got an axis here. We want another line that goes through here and here. So rest your pencil at this point so your straight edge comes down and goes through this point, okay? We're gonna mark another one that goes here. Rest your pencil here. Bring your ruler here so there's a line right there, okay? Again, let's check and make sure this is the right radius size, and it is, okay? So, the center point goes on the vertical axis here, and the outer arc it reaches right at the X and Y spot. of this circle and the center points on this axis but it just touches this circle here don't worry if you move it a little bit you're always gonna erase your pencil lines so just use them slowly okay so the outer spot goes right here, and there's that circle there, right? I'm going to make these guys repeat it. So there's one axis 
we've got one that goes through these two here, but we want one coming up here. So put your point right there and bring your straight edge down so it's right there, okay? The center point is going to be on this axis and your outer point is going to touch the outer arc of this circle. outer arc is going to touch this circle and the center point is going to be on this axis. Great. Now, the outer arc is going to meet right at the x and y axis and the center point is on the y axis. There. So if you've watched the previous video series of constructing these by themselves, you can start to see where we're going. So we're done with the compass for now. So where are your center points for? I want you to draw a circle freehand. Okay, that's right there. The center of your circle is right there. Draw another circle, the same size as this, freehand. The center of this one is right here. Okay? Same with this one. We know that the center is right here, so we're going to draw a circle like that, and right here. Same with here. Repeat here. Do it lightly too because we may need to erase it. And another circle there. One here. One here. And one here. All right. So on this one, just mark thirds like so. All right on the X and Y axis, so you've got, almost got like a crosshairs. Same with this one, but it's bisected this way and this way. Okay, so it's going to have two here, two here, so there's three spaces. One, two, one, two. One, two, two. Same here, it's got one, two, one, two, one, two. This is just going to help you draw a smooth spiral, which goes from the outer point and spirals inside, okay? Repeat that with this one. So along the crosshairs, mark it into thirds. do it with these ones as well. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Now I have to keep my page static because I want the camera having it on the same spot at all times, but you may wish to turn your page ever so slightly so it's comfortable for you to draw. And that's fine. Okay, great. So from here, we're going to start to draw these patterns. This one here is this guy, this, this guy, and this guy is 
this one that goes down, okay? I don't have a strip. No one's taken a photograph of the, the helmet. That's flat. So I've had to do a lot of calculations. Okay, so. From this point here on your circle, start to draw a spiral that goes out and just meets right here at the top, okay? Repeat it here. Start spiraling out. And meets right at the top here. Same here. And it gets ever so slightly bigger which with each rotation. Same here. Slightly bigger with each rotation until it goes out. All right. Same with this one. So it's a nice, <clears throat> nice smooth arc out. Ooh, I made a little mistake with that one. Like that. All right. This one. Starts, gets bigger with, with each 90 degree rotation. All right. Same with here. until it gets to the outer spot. That one, you want it to just be there, okay? So let's just erase that. Same here. Slightly bigger, slightly bigger, and great. This one, slightly bigger. Great. So let's draw a little circle in the center of each one, but not at the axis point. It's in here where these three meet. So you're going to draw a circle there, okay? These three meet here above the horizon line. So draw a circle there. About the same size as here. Another one there, and another one there. Great. We're going to start to ink it with our pigment liners. Your thin pigment liner, okay, and just follow along as I start to construct the spirals. All right. I like to draw in this direction. You may like to draw coming this way. It's whatever your hand prefers, all right? So. We're just following our arc. And as this comes down to six o'clock, we stop. Right? Same, let's do it with this one too. So complete the circle and start the outer spiraling arc. And follow the outer circumference of that circle and stop right there. All right? Let's do this one. I draw the inner circle and then start the outer spiraling arc. And then I stop there. All right. So we're not following this line. We're going to draw a curve that meets 
right there. Same here. This one would go in a straight line and meet right there. This one would meet right there. Now let's draw the inner circle, all right? Just like so. So let's repeat with this guy. We do our inner circle and then we start the spiral. stop. And stop there. Recursive go in the spiral. stop all right so this one continues in almost a straight line to here this one will continue to there all right this one will continue to there let's draw the center circle great move it along we're gonna get to this one circle, then the spiraling arc, stop, all right, center circle, spiraling arc, reaches the outer circumference and you follow it, great. circle, spiraling arc, and then it meets the outer circumference, and then you follow that curve. Great. Now, we're going to complete the Triscales. the center circle so it's a little more centered in what I've constructed okay do this one as well inner circle spiraling arc reach the outer circumference arc stops here inner circle Spiraling arc. Outer circumference. Alright. Inner circle. Spiraling arc. Outer circumference and stop. Now, it's completed. the drawing again I noticed that these two this makes an S curve to make them meet okay this one makes a really long one and you'll notice that that S curve goes through one of our marking points okay so use your pencil And draw a nice curve. That goes along the outer 
circumference of these circles, okay? This one as well, except it's going to go through the mark that we made there. And then it starts to curve this way, okay? Same with here. Great. Take your pigment liner. Make a nice S curve. And exaggerate this curve so it changes direction right at horizon line, okay? Same here. Seems to spiral out and then changes direction at the horizon line. Great. So, let this dry for a few minutes and then we're going to make the lines thicker and erase our pencil guide. Don't go too crazy because your eraser will take away some of the ink line. It's not going to erase it per se, but it does wear it down slightly. I'm just going to lightly get rid of the uh, guidelines that we used. Do consider too that this is a lot like the same method that a pen and ink artwork is done when making uh, illustrations like comic books, except a pencil is usually blue. So I'm not going too hard when I reach the uh, ink lines because it, we don't want it to smudge. You have to think that the uh, artist that did this layout 1,500 years ago was using patterns that were sacred to them. No one knows exactly what they mean, but it's definite that they're significant. I'm sure that the layout was also significant, too, in the patterns. We can only theorize what they might mean to repeat it every three steps and then to repeat the repetition itself every eight steps. And <sighs> All right, is there anywhere? Oh yeah, there's a few spots still. favorite modern art pieces uh, is actually a Rauschenberg. It's an abstract piece where uh, the American uh, artist Rauschenberg took a de Kooning drawing and erased it and then just titled it Erased de Kooning. It's a conceptualized art from the 50s. I always think about that when I erase my own drawings. All right. Where's that thick pigment liner? All right, the pigment liner I'm using is just under a millimeter. It's about, it's a, it's a uh, 0.8. 
Now I'm just going to go over the lines we've made already, okay? And we want to do them as smooth as we can. I find the best uh, lines are when you actually aren't pushing the pen. You're drawing it. start to push instead of like drawing it or pulling it um, that's when you start to get little ridges sweeping motion. Let's do our center circles. Awesome. Now we'll do the joining curve. One of the things I'm doing is drawing a smooth line over the parts where it, it connected when I raised the pen. And just like interlace, that fools the eye into thinking that the artist has constructed a single smooth stroke. circle, outer arc, it's 
center circle, that center circle is done. lines slightly thicker. I'm using a 1.2 millimeter or a 12 thickness pigment liner. So you can see how thick that is. something's this big you want to just be able to make as many continuous arcs as possible this takes a lot of practice but I believe in you and I think you can do it Examine the uh, Triskels on the helmet, you'll notice that they're done by hand. That's exactly what you're wanting to do. So don't be afraid if you make a few mistakes. You have a pen this thick, you don't want to rest it in one spot because it will start to bleed into your page. You also want to get a water-based ink because an alcohol-based pigment liner will bleed through the paper. Yeah, we're 
finished. Thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe on my video channel. Thanks again.